Good morning everyone, long time no see. Will you join me here in Athens at the Acropolis? We've come for a weekend here in Athens and I haven't vlogged in ages and I really just thought this is quite special and I wanted to remember it. So we're here and we arrived about maybe 10 to 8. Yeah. Um, and there was already a queue. It opens at 8. <laughs> but let me just show you how empty it is currently. This is currently what we're dealing with. And this is right at the top of the Acropolis. So get here early. So last weekend we actually went to the British Museum which houses some of the original parts that would have been up here and on the triangular bit that you would have seen just before. It was basically stolen, it says they were given, we all know the truth. We learned all about like what the different, not layers, what would you call them, sections? Um, of this was last weekend and now we've seen the real thing which is great. So when you arrive, you walk up here, and this isn't technically the entrance, so we're listening to an audiobook currently, aren't we, that Toby found for free, I'll leave a link in the description, um, <laughs> not audiobook, audio guide, um, and basically they would parade around the other side, so the entrance is actually the other side, but I'm going to zoom in, behind the first set of columns, you can see, you might be able to see these horses, um, and these are called the free, which is part of the section that we learnt about when we were in the British Museum last weekend because a lot of that is actually in the British Museum but it's really cool to see it all put together because in the museum it's all not together. <laughs> so in the audio guide that we're listening to, which I'll link below if you if you ever come here, um, he was saying that the coloured, the lighter coloured marble is where they're like doing the restoration um, and that eventually it will age to the same colour as the original, which is really cool as you can see there. And then they were using these new slabs of marble <laughs> um, to also help with the reconstruction and it's from the original place where they made it as well, which is like really cool. So that's where all the construction is happening and it's honestly incredible and I highly recommend coming as soon as it opens because we can already see that it's like getting a lot busier than when we first got here and we've been here about 45 minutes I think um, so yeah and it's a lot cooler yeah like, it's Very so nice. so lovely and we basically got some um, sunrise images I'll insert a couple um, and I look really pretty so thank you it's grand boyfriend <laughs> Very welcome. I can't even fit you in my video. <laughs> we're we're crossing the Panathenaic Way. I think you're better at it than I am. <laughs> So this building is the museum, um, the Acropolis Museum, which we booked to go see later today. And then we've got the theatre down there, which we're also going to see. And then this arch here is Hadrian's Arch, and I've seen this on TikTok, and I really want some pictures down there. I think that was Zeus's columns. I could be wrong. Um, and then this, in the distance, is the Olympic track, which we're going to go yep. see tomorrow. So our good tour guide, Steve Ricks. No, Rick, Rick Steves. Rick Steves. <laughs> Rick Steves. Well, it's voiced hang by on, Rick on. Steves and a, another lady. They're both yeah. American, but they have a bit of banter throughout, and it's quite Great. funny. So I highly recommend this app that Toby just randomly found. Lissa. Basically, Lissa, that's her name. So in 1687, there was 
um, an explosion and prior to that for like 2,000 years it was basically untouched and pretty much the same as when it was originally built so this explosion happened um, and now it's like this <laughs> but it's still incredible and definitely one of the top things to come visit when you're in Athens absolutely look all of these different ones look how many Greek things there are exploring Athens there's a bunch of like little podcast episode yeah. kind of things where he like interviews people as well Aww. and then yeah there's four different walks for different things I love that yeah Look how busy it is now, and it's 20 past nine, so it's been open nearly an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, we spent an hour and a half just up here by itself, and there's so much more to do in this as well. So this is the Propylia, which is the entrance to the Acropolis. It sits at the bottom of the hill, just below the Parthenon, and then the entrance to the Parthenon is actually the other side, so they would walk around the side of it and come through. Tip for anyone who wants to come and get some nice Instagram pictures like we did, Come at the very beginning when it opens at 8am, walk straight past through everything, get your pictures and then walk around because as you've seen it's getting a lot more busy. All the tours are now here and we're, we're not leaving but we're heading back down towards the exit and there's still no one heading this way because everyone's coming in now. So you may notice that the columns are all like stacked in sections and you may think they've done it for the restoration but actually that's just how they built them <laughs> and also we're inside the propylia and these inside columns are smaller than the outside columns okay this is actually insane just look at how many people there are now so this is the temple of athena nike and they ripped off her wings so she could protect the city forever basically it's quite well preserved because it's got the four columns at the front and on the back still. But this is the other side of the Propylia. Probably. So we've just finished at the Acropolis. It's now quarter past ten. So we were there two and, two and a bit hours quite a while. We're kind of hungry now because we didn't really have breakfast so we're trying to find somewhere to go eat. I actually haven't said on this channel because I haven't been on here well, in a very long time but I'm actually now gluten free and dairy free <laughs> but we use an app when we're traveling called Go find me gluten. Find me gluten free. Find me gluten free. Um, an incredible app. I've added so many restaurants to it myself, and we use that to try and find gluten free places that I can go and eat at because it sucks being gluten free. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So from the app, we found um, a gluten free bakery, um, which is called Asterik, um, and it's really cute. It's very cute inside. But they have these tiny garlic bread loaves and i've had gluten-free garlic bread but i've not enjoyed it as in like you know what you'd have pizza like hot garlic bread i've never enjoyed any of the ones that i've come across this is incredible so we brought another one and we're gonna put it in the microwave when we get back to our airbnb later put some vegan butter on it and we're gonna have garlic bread and it's incredible and i'm obsessed so we're about to go into the Acropolis museum and we pre-booked our tickets online just like we did with the actual Acropolis um and we were a bit confused because there's lots of lines to get in so we asked someone and she was like oh can i see your tickets and she just let us like basically skip the queue and now we're right in front so Definitely book tickets online and then ask someone and she might let you in to do that. <laughs> So when you come to Athens, you can buy either an Athens pass or a combo ticket that gets you into the Acropolis and six other sites, I think it is. Um, so we've now just arrived at Hadrian's Library, um, which is like a 10 minute walk 
or less from the Acropolis. And we're gonna, ah, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have a look around here. So I really wanted to come to a rooftop bar whilst we're here, even though our apartment is basically a rooftop view of the Acropolis. Um, and I'd seen some on TikTok, and the one we went to, which was MS Roof Garden, there was like queues outside, and I was like, we're not waiting in that. And then we were gonna go to a different place called Attic something, and I couldn't find it, I got lost. So we randomly stumbled upon Royal, Royal Hotel Royal Athens. Rooftop. Yeah. And there's no one here. There's literally like three people here. And we have a great view of the Acropolis and we're getting through. Six, I think. Oh. 